Hello and welcome. I'm George Crump, Lead Analyst with Storage Switzerland. Thank you for joining us today. Today we're going to continue our ongoing coverage of the Unitrends backup appliance. Uh, we have been testing it for quite some time. Our most recent uh, test that we sh uh, showed was the Linux backup. But we run the product uh, daily and we're going to today we're going to focus on some simple use case restores and then throughout the month we will do uh, more detailed restores. So as you can see here, uh, we have been doing backups uh, most of the days, uh, so we've gotten pretty good success. Uh, we got a couple clients that are offline, uh, but in general things are working really well. Um, if we look at what's going on in the system now, you can see we've completed uh, most of the, this day's backups. Uh, we run uh, daily differentials on uh, many of our machines now where backups are going off every hour uh, and all those work uh, very well we talked about that also in the last video so you can see for example you can see this windows box we've backed up eight times already uh, today so uh, we're very pleased with uh, our progress thus far with the um, uh, with the Unitrends product but of course you know you don't back up just to back up you at some point have to restore some data so let's go ahead and set that up we're going to show you a recovery on both a Windows machine and a Macintosh and then uh, and then later uh, a Linux box. So let's go ahead and start with a Macintosh recovery. You can see here I've got a uh, um, remote desktoped into one of our Mac servers here and I've got a directory open and we've got a bunch of files available to recover. So here's a just a, a simple, t actually a very large text file. It's almost a meg in size, um, uh, with uh, some raw data in it. We'll go ahead and and that's been out there for a while, so it should be well protected. Uh, so let's go ahead and delete that. Empty the trash. So you can see the trash is empty so in theory the the file is totally gone now uh, and so we'll go ahead and recover it. To do that you click the restore button and then if you know specifically what server in a single file restore uh, what I do is I go to the uh, server that I need to um, pull data from and then we go to um, the last backup and select it. You can see it kind of pops out there. And then we go in and select uh, our files and then there's just a very simple navigation tree to uh, go through to get that. and there's the file that we deleted so all we have to do is uh, select the file and we'll just go ahead and restore it to the, the default location but if we wanted to change where it was going we could do that here but we'll go ahead and restore now and we won't make you stare at the whole restore although this won't take very long um, you can see that the request is being queued up being sent to the uh, system. Now it's sending the data to the client. Now it's preparing to restore the data. And now it's sending the data. And that quickly, uh, the data is back. So you can see the task is completed and now we're back at our interface. So if we go back to our Mac here, you can see the file is back and intact, uh, just like it should be. And that was you know, a small file, but very quick uh, recovery process. Let's take a look at how it would look on a Windows system. So here we'll delete a much larger file. Uh, we'll go after the uh, uh, this uh, PowerPoint presentation that's uh, almost uh, five megs in size.
and then we will uh, empty the recycle bin again. Okay, so it's empty. And now we go to that client. And you can see this one here, you can see all the recovery points uh, because uh, we've been uh, doing protection throughout. This one is triggered to go off every hour that we have the backup appliance on. So you can see that we've got quite a few there. Uh, we'll just take the uh, latest one and then go ahead and select our files. And there's the file that we just deleted. So we just select that, hit restore. And you see the request is being queued up once again. Sending the request. And the data is being sent. And again, that quickly, the job is done. So if we go over to the client. We can see that the presentation that we uh, deleted is back. So, uh, you know, again, very good uh, example. Okay, now let's do a much larger or a, a larger restore. Uh, here's a uh, folder that has uh, a lot of data in it, a lot of our uh, office productivity uh, stuff, about seven and a half gigs, almost eight gigs of uh, data. So, uh, certainly a sizable. Uh, thing to delete. Uh, we'll go ahead and pull something up in here so that we know we can. There's an icon that probably most people would recognize. And we'll go ahead and delete this folder. And you saw the message that it was too big for the recycle bin, so that tells you that uh, it's going to be permanently deleted. So we'll let that run. And you can see it's uh, definitely gone, and so is, and the recycle bin is empty. So let's go back in here and uh, go find that file or folder. So there it is right there, and we could browse in and individually recover, but like we said, we wanted to go ahead and recover the whole thing. So uh, like I said, it's about a 7.5 gig, 8, eight gig back uh, uh, folder, so it should be sizable uh, recovery. Go ahead and hit restore. So you can see it found the data pretty quickly, uh, really no difference in time, um, and now it's sending the data. And you can see that this, because this one is a is a bigger um, recovery, we actually get the percent complete bar uh, uh, as we go across. And we won't make you stare at the whole thing, so we'll uh, let this run for a little bit, and we'll pick it up right at the end. And you can see here we're at 98% complete and now we're done. And so the task is now completed. So again, that quickly uh, we were able to recover everything and have it work uh, just fine. So 
Uh, and that, like I said, that was a, a large, certainly a larger uh, restore. And so that, uh, once again, uh, data was found quickly and recovered uh, about as quickly as our lab network will allow things to happen. So uh, no problems at all there. Okay, and while that's wrapping up, we'll come over here to our folder. You can see it's back and all the data is there and we will bring up the same icon and you can see it works uh, works real well. So no problems at all. Nice good size restore. Restores on multiple platforms. So there's our testing of the recovery uh, aspects of the Unitrends box uh, started. Uh, we need to probably uh, go through a full server recovery and we'll do that uh, in our next uh, video but certainly from a uh, ease of getting to the data uh, performance of the restore itself uh, and obviously the integrity of restore uh, certainly the um, Unitrends uh, 813 passes with flying colors so very very happy about that uh, this is George Crump lead analyst with storage Switzerland thank you very much for tuning in today